Hey friends, I'm back with another video. This one is sort of a redo of an old video that I made where I want to correct a few things and add a few things. And it's mostly about languages and learning them and the Feronavi server where languages are a little weird. So let's start off by heading to the tutorial. Uh, if you end up in POK, but you wanted to get back into the tutorial, there's two ways to get back there. One, you camp out and you can log back in by instead of hitting enter world, you hit uh, enter tutorial. So you can do it that way. Or you come to this NPC here that says tutorials. It's over here near the Crescent Reach Stone. See? And, and they're right here by the big ass tree. So you hail them and they offer an array of quests and uh, you can you can do some of those quests I, I recommend uh, tricks of the trade because you get a really nice 50% weight reduction bag and the trader satchel out of the deal but we're not here to do the quests we're here because they can send us back to the tutorial uh, so if for some reason you lost access to it and you're still under level 15 You can use this to get back there. So we're gonna hit send and Poof we get teleported back to the mines of glooming deep, which is the tutorial zone So I really wanted to focus on languages now What are some of the things that might be different on Feronavi than? other servers, right? Well, one of them is there is no slash OOC command. It doesn't work. So let's say slash OOC. And I'll just type in hey. And it says this chat command no longer functions on this server. So you don't have OOC. Now, another way to communicate to others on the, in the zone is slash shout but that comes with its own issues because Feronavi is considered a RP server roleplay server which means they made it a little harder I guess um, with languages where nobody really understands each other at first until everybody learns a similar language you would think it would be human you know, common clay and all that, but I guess the majority have chosen Elvish. So everybody is supposed to learn Elvish. How do you learn Elvish if you're not an elf? Well, I just so happen to be an elf, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'm going to show you ways of learning Elvish really quick and easy uh, without having to go through a whole lot of grief. One of the things you'd want to do is you want to go uh, to either Crescent Reach, which would be through that portal. You just run over there and click on it. And then you find a, a guild, uh, your, your trainer for your class. So if you're a warrior, a warrior trainer. If you're a ranger, a ranger trainer, and so on. And you look under languages and you can try to learn one of the languages you get five skill points to start in the game without doing much of anything. Um, so you could use one of those skill points to get one skill point in Elvish. If you don't have that option on your trainer, then find an elf and communicate with them and tell them you want to learn Elvish. How do you do that if you don't speak Elvish? Well, there's another workaround for that too. So let's say I want to chat with someone and I want to send them a tell. Well, if you do it the regular way, like slash tell, and let's say their name is Bobby, okay? And say there's a paladin named Bobby and you say, hello, Bobby. It's going to be funny if there's actually someone named Bobby out there. Bobby is not online at this time. Great. <laughs> because I didn't want to send a total stranger a tell saying hello, Bobby. But had they been on there, 
this is how the tell might have come out. It might have come out like something like this is what they would see. You know, uh, they might say it might say my name like it might say Talela says uh, a tell and it says blah, blah, blah. so they won't understand. And why is this? This is because uh, they don't speak the language I'm trying to speak to them. So y you have to learn their language. But there's a workaround, as I said. So if you do a bracket tell and you say Bobby. So you still got to say put their tell and the person's name and then your message. And you send that. And you hit enter. Then they would see it as hello, Bobby. They would see the message correctly. I made the mistake, I think, in some past video where I thought it was like semicolon tell. And that's not it. So be sure it's just the simple bracket, not the curvy bracket, just a simple like little box. And then you hit tell. And then the character's name like example uh my name and i wonder if i could send myself a tell and there we go talela tells you hello and it works with the bracket now the, there's only one difference now when you're using the bracket uh it it appears like in their chat window where they have tells like say filter and see i have tell coming in here now if if, uh, if you send slash tell to someone a lot of times it opens up a whole new window there is one other way to communicate but I don't advise it because they might not really see it and that's slash em em stands for emote so that's going to come up I think in regular English you know and it appears down here as a as a gesture or an action. It just says to Layla, hey everyone. And everyone should be able to read that. Um, but it's only gonna be local, it's gonna be close, you know, somebody has to be near you. Um, but that's a good way to communicate with people uh, when you don't know the language. So you can do the bracket again, bracket, tell their name. Let's just type in Bob and hello, okay? And that would send Bob a hello. And I'm not going to do it because who knows, there might be some ogre out there named Bob and I really don't want to disturb them. So uh, that's that. Now languages, we wanted to talk about languages a little bit. Well, you only start off with like knowing one or two languages. One would be your normal race language if you're an elf you obviously already know elvish if you're a human you know human language or common whatever they call it if you're a erudite you speak erudite if you're an ogre you speak ogre and so on it just keeps going how do you learn the other languages you can either go to your trainer and try to see if they have those languages and learn a skill point in each one and and then practice it until you get up to a hundred or you can have another player spam you uh, with that language and that will teach you the language too. Next we're gonna do the language like how do you want to learn a language let's say I've got a few skills I had someone spam me uh, a little bit for language so I got like a couple points in almost every language as you see here I've become better at languages um, because I had one of my main characters spam uh, nonsense words <laughs> until I got learned some languages so we're gonna do let's learn human how's that so we're going to right click here in main chat we're gonna click on language and we're going to click on human. Okay, we're already set to human. Now we're going to make a key, a hotkey, a macro. And I'm going to call it languages. All right. And, um, you know, give it a color. And now we want to hit slash G for a group 
talking in group. So that's anybody that you're grouped with is going to see this. So you want to be mindful if you group with people and you plan on using group chat to communicate with each other. You want to disable these keys that I'm going to show you so you don't infuriate the whole group. Uh, so we're going to just make a simple sentence. So it just says, hey guys, I'm going to teach you a new language. It could be just about anything and it'll work. Uh, I don't even know if it has to be proper words or sentences. It, it might work with gibberish. I don't know. I've never tried gibberish. I always just write some kind of silly sentence. And then I hit accept. So now I have my language key. If I want to, I could put a, a different sentence for each line and I'll have that much more spam with every keystroke. But we're just going to do the one for now. And then we're going to put this in a hot bar. So this hot bar here is one I already set up. It's hot bar 11 because I figure that's the last one on the list. And I almost never use it for anything else. So that's why I use hot bar 11. And you're going to see here it says WASD um, over here, which means every time I hit ASWD, it triggers these. And you see here in my group chat, it's saying, hey guys, hey guys, you know, over and over again. And you're going to see, I'm going to slowly skill up, see, in the human tongue. I got up to six now. And so instead of just sitting here bored off my butt, you know, spamming this key, because I, I, could, I could make the key, I could, sure, I could put it over here on the hot bar, and I could sit here for hours just clicking and spamming. Or I could put it here where I have these let you know these keys bound. And as I play, just killing stuff and I'm running around, I can get better skill, you know, get skill ups at the language. And once I'm at a hundred in this language, I just go over here, I choose another language, and then I can skill up in that. Now, here is the important thing. For group chat to be effective, especially when it comes to learning your languages, you have to be in a group. Luckily, mercenaries count. So as long as you have a mercenary or a friend grouped with you, then it works. It works every time, guaranteed, no problem. Uh, sometimes, you know, it might take a while. As you see, it's not going up to eight right now, but it will. I promise you that it will. Now, if I want to sit here, oh, there it goes. It went up to eight. So sometimes it takes a minute. It's not going to be instant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of the, the little quests here. And uh, actually, I might, I might say this video is done because... Uh, we did everything we wanted to do. We wanted to do languages. I want to keep this short. Uh, and we did this this hotkey. You might also ask, well, how do I get the keybinds? So you hit Alt-O, okay, uh, t for options. And you go over here under Keys. And then you go under Hotbar. And you go Hotbar 11. And it's easy as that, right here. You click on it. I, I made that one W, you click on this, that one is A, you click here, it's D, you click here, that one's S, and there you go. Uh, so pressing any of those keys will work, and, and that's how you, you bind them. If I wanted to, number five here, to make it something, something else for whatever reason, uh, I could turn that to H. If I don't want it to be H... I click on it and I press escape and it clears it. So I hope that helps you. Again, this way, I'm just running around in the dungeon, la la la, killing things, and I'll skill up. It's the quickest way that I know without any kind of software, any kind of cheat. It just uses macros and it's completely allowed. All you need is you have to be grouped with someone else. Even if that someone else is one of your other characters on another account. 
because obviously you can only play one character per account at the same time. So some folks have multiple accounts and uh, you could do that or you just get a mercenary. Uh, like a, But if you're on a server that doesn't have mercenaries yet because that expansion's not enabled, then obviously you have to group with someone else. As long as you're grouped with someone else, this works. You, and, and look, I just went up another. I'm a, a human tongue nine now. So it will always work unless you're alone. If you're alone, you can't group chat. You know, I believe instead of this coming up, it would say, are you trying to talk to yourself again if you're not grouped? Um, so there it is. Uh, I hope this helps you. I hope you found this useful. Again, if you want to talk to someone on this server like Verona Vi, you could also use slash the box bracket tell space Bob or whatever their name is. <laughs> I had the slash there too. Oops, my bad. Only bracket, no slash. And then your message like... Hey, sexy, or whatever, whatever you want to say to Bob. All right. So that's how that works. And uh, that way, if there is a language issue, they will be able to uh, understand you. A lot of times I will reply to people using the bracket tell and they still keep replying with just a regular tell. And I have no idea what they're saying. Because to me, all I'm reading is Flesen Blastrum Plixel Plesen Engine. And, <laughs> you know, that's what it looks like to me. And here you could see perfect example. These people are, are talking in, in local. And that's what it looks like. Um, it, it's, it's a bunch of nonsense words. Sometimes you'll get a word, like if, if you're slightly familiar with that language, like here it actually does say guard. But again, a bunch of nonsense, all that stuff. And that's because they're saying things in local and I don't know their language, whatever language they're speaking. If it was in Elvish, it might even say in Elvish, but here it says in an unknown tongue. And I'm not sure if that's because I know I have zero points in that language or I have to have maybe at least 50 points or something before I even can understand what tongue they're speaking. I don't know. But again, I hope this uh, little tutorial tip video was helpful to you. If it was, please smash that like button. I could also use some more subscribers. I'm trying to grow the channel, so please subscribe. It costs nothing, and you could always unsubscribe if you find me tedious and annoying. I understand. I find myself tedious and annoying sometimes. But if you really like the channel and like to support it, consider becoming a member and hit the join button down below. There's also a Patreon, and there's a Twitter. And if you, if you join the Patreon, or if you become a, a YouTube member... There's also access to a Discord where we all share hilarious memes and stuff that are usually related to EverQuest or D&D &D or role-playing of some kind. And we have a lot of fun with that. We also created a new guild on Throne of Eye called Chamber of Chaos, as you can see by the tag on my new character here. And a lot of players that have joined the Discord have also joined Chamber of Chaos and we started playing together on Saturdays. So, you know, that might interest you as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.